Hello out there, Internet. I'm Adam Mary from Bowls, and today we are taking a look at all of the brand new Space Room miniatures from the Warhammer 40,000 Indominus launch box. Uh, we've been rushing to get these models put together. Thankfully, they didn't take super long, uh, but now we have the, the video of all of these models. We're going to go through, we're going to talk at, uh, we're going to talk about each set, each squad, uh, each unit there, and uh, yeah, we're going to look at their sprues, and then we're going to look at the uh, symbol models in a little bit closer manner, so uh, let's dive in. Here's the brand new Primaris Captain, fully built, fully assembled, uh, pretty stoked about this one. Really great detail on the whole model. <laughs> the shield is pretty epic looking again with the uh, the the skeleton on it and everything like that. It's just a cool model. Again, I can't believe this thing is push fit. You saw the sprues there. Um, very awesome. Very cool. Man, what what more to say? You know, it's just a cool looking model. Um, and it's plastic, so you can flip it like that and no problem. <laughs> Made its armor safe. Uh, yeah, great stuff all around. It does have multiple heads here. We actually went with the, the bald head options here so um, for, for assembly. So, yeah, can't wait to get this guy painted up for our studio army in the Ultramarine scheme. Next up is the Primaris Lieutenant. Again, painted up, uh, or not painted up yet, but we'll get to, we'll get there. <laughs> this is his the captain's literal second in command. Uh, very cool. It's got the brand new Neo Volkite pistol. Uh, which again is different from, I guess, a Volkite pistol because it's got the word Neo in front of it, so it's new. Um, <laughs> but very awesome detail. I like the storm shield on them. Uh, man, it's just a cool looking addition to the army, to the Primaris. Um, I like that most of the characters have the little uh, shield guard thing on their arm or chest piece. So it gives you some, some flat space to play around with some decals or whatever. Uh, but very cool looking stuff for the Primaris Lieutenant. The Chaplain, the new Primaris Chaplain model. Uh, again, not a new concept for Primaris. This one here is just uh, a new model. So, new pose, new looks, all the way around. Um, very awesome looking. Again, you can't get over the, the, the details here. I don't want to skim over that. I know I keep saying that for every model, but it's because it's true. Like, look at the book there. You can see all the crazy stuff. There's all the, the awesome banners and uh, filigree and all that cool stuff. I like the shoulder pad. That's a nice touch. So yeah, very awesome. Primaris Chaplain, uh, still a beat stick, still a great support character to have in your army. And here is the infamous Judas CR. Ju I, that's what I'm gonna say because it's got the I after the A after the C and the AR. So uh, big old flat sword, flat top sword. I love that. That's the Executioner Relic Blade. Uh, very cool unique thing about this model um, I love all the details again for me personally this one feels like it's straight out of Age of Sigmar <laughs> with the uh, the armor plating uh, and the fact that he's got an, an hourglass which is you know kind of odd but whatever I'm not, I'm not here to judge uh, rules wise is really cool he's like the anti-chaplain instead of like buffing a friendly unit he can make an enemy unit strike last which is kind of cool and kind of different so the judge is here folks and he's here to lop some skulls uh, but not for corn. Made a save. Boom. Check that out. Here is the Blade Guard Ancient. Uh, again, very awesome model. I like the fact that GW took their time on this model to make a lot of flat spaces so that, like, the shoulder pad here and the little sword guard there on the chest, it's got some purity seals. But at the same time, you can totally uh, paint that whatever chapter you want, and it's going to look red. Look at that banner. Um, it's just really cool. So there's another look at the back of the banner here, the back of the model. I like that he's got the little uh, the little relic in his hands with the, with the, with the other hand. So you know, it's a three-handed space marine. What are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> I like the robes on this one too. So anyway, that's the uh, blade guard ancient here, different from a, uh, a, a primaris ancient, but this is a blade guard version. So there you go. Here are the new Blade Guard models. Now, I'm, I'm not going to try to spin these guys around. There's, there's three of them, for crying out loud. Uh, these are the new Blade Guard. Really cool looking models. All three of them, very unique, very cool looking. Uh, again, they are push fit, so you've got limited amount of poses for them. But uh, with this unit of three, I mean, they're kind of BA, so 
not a big deal there, in my opinion. Uh, you've got the Blade Guard Sergeant, which is the guy, uh, which really, however you want to paint them, to be perfectly honest, I, I don't. They all have like the Iron Halo thing on their back shoulder, but on their backpack, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, so, but the, the unit comes with uh, two Blade Guard Vets and a vet, uh, Blade Guard Sergeant. Um, they're just a really solid close combat unit, mastercrafted power swords, uh, you know, storm shields. So, yeah. Uh, and real quick too, storm shields are now four up involunt save and improve the uh, bearer save by by one up. So, uh, they actually have a two up, which is kind of kind of great for storm shields. So, yeah. Here's another new unit because surprise, they're all new units. Uh, this is the Eradicator Squad. They are equipped with Melta rifles, which if you don't know what those are, those are essentially multi meltas but in rifle form, uh, and they are assault one instead of heavy one. So you still get the 24 inch range, strength eight, uh, AP minus four, D6 damage. Get to uh, roll a, a second die when um, when you're within half range and pick the highest. So they're really uh, really cool at uh, blowing up vehicles. And uh, they have a special ability where they can shoot twice uh, if you target the same target with them. So, um, yeah. But they are in the heavier Gravis armor. Um, they're a little bit beefier than, than average. And, I mean, I really like the look of these models. So, <laughs> I'm probably going to be uh, running a couple of these units if I, if I uh, have my way of things. But I really like the new models. Uh, they are, you know, they primary us with Melta. You can't go wrong. All right, here are the new Outriders assembled. Again, brand new unit, because duh, they're all new. But uh, they come three in the box, fully assembled here. Man, <laughs> they are way beefier than I than I originally thought um, compared to other bikes. Again, they're on the much bigger oval base um, than uh, the old bikes used to be. So, yeah, they're pretty cool. If you are a White Scars or Raven Wing player, hello. <laughs> These bikes are just what the doctor ordered. I can't wait to see the conversions for these guys. Uh, I can't wait to see them painted up as whatever paint scheme people do out there uh, for their bike squadrons here. So um, they're pretty beefy. They hit pretty hard. Uh, and yeah, both in combat and shooting. So I think they were gonna be pretty decent. Uh, the, one of the questions that I personally have had is uh, what is the twin bolter up front? What are they rocking there? Is that is that actually uh, a bolter rifle or is it just like twin bolters like old school it is indeed a twin bolt rifle so that is the 30 inch range version with a rapid fire 2 and a strength 4 ap minus 1 so confirmed twin bolt rifles excited about those bad boys all right all you close combat junkies out there this is the unit i know you've been waiting for these are the new assault intercessors you get 10 in the box as you can see uh, this makes my little Blood Angel heart pitter-patter for joy. Uh, <laughs> the squad, of course, comes with uh, up to 10 models in there. You do have the one Intercessor Sergeant. Uh, they are red. They are, uh, they, there's a couple of repeating poses in there. But, I mean, they're going to look so cool on the tabletop, even, you know, even with that still. Uh, they are push-fit models. All of these models I've shown off so far, again, all push-fit. So, pretty mind-blowing. Um, cool stuff about this unit. Real fast. Uh, it's got a Stardust Chain Swords as their melee weapon. Uh, if you are not aware, that is a new classification for a Stardust Chain Swords. They're not regular Chain Swords. They are AP minus one and do one damage. Uh, when they fight, they make an additional attack with that weapon. So, hello. Uh, these guys are going to put Reapers to shame, I think, in close combat. They're, they're, yeah, they're Primaris Marines. They have two attacks base. So, with that uh, Stardust Chain Sword, they're getting three attacks base. Plus Space Marines, so that means on the charge, first round of combat, they're getting an extra attack as well. You do the math. Uh, heavy Bolt Pistol on top of that, so it's you you know those stat lines. 18 inch range on that one. It's a pistol. Uh, seeing as that, that the, seeing as how that's their only uh, uh, ranged weapon other than grenades, you know probably going to get those shots in there too. Uh, looking forward to using these bad boys. Uh, run them next to a lieutenant. Get that reroll of wound. Me being a Blood Angel. Getting that extra extra plus one to wound. Oh yeah, I am looking forward to getting these bad boys on the table. Uh, unfortunately for me, these models are going to go join the Ultramarines because they're part of the studio army, but one day I'm going to have my own unit and that's what's going to happen with them.
Well, folks, those are all of the Space Marine models from the new Indominus launch box for Warhammer 40,000. Uh, they will be available for pre-order on July the 11th, and they will be uh, out in stores on July the 25th of 2020. Uh, if you're watching this after those dates, uh, go pick up a box. What do you mean? What are you waiting on? These models are fan freaking tastic. They're all brand new, perfect for veterans, perfect for new new players. Dive in there. Uh, they're super easy to build because they're all push fit. So I'm still blown away by that. So go check them out. I'm Adam here from Bowls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.